Okay, so I want to do um, another video regarding working at BFI 5 or Amazon.com. Each one of them is going to be different, of course. Um, okay. So, as you can see, my hair is right at my shoulders. Um, I still wear a headband to keep my hair out of my face, and um, it's the type that goes all the way around my head. I keep them in my car, so, so I never forget to bring them with me to work. And what that does is it lifts the back of my hair because sometimes you bend down, you don't want your hair to get caught in any kind of machinery or anything like that. That's for the ladies and the men because there are some men um, who have long hair and so they put their hair up in a top knot um, so that is safe for them. Another thing that when you're working at BFI 5, um, you walk miles at night so you're gonna want to take care of your shoes I mean your feet always wear socks number one the type of shoes that you do not want to wear ladies and men because it's 2016 is these they're very cute but you do not want to wear shoes like these these are more business type but again not appropriate for uh, working at BFI 5. Now I wear several shoes because I think that it's healthier for your feet to rotate the shoes. I don't wear the same shoes every single night. I wear different shoes. So um, I wear the my grasshoppers which is these ones but these are orthopedic they're grasshoppers which is very good for your feet. Some people use gel insteps um, for their feet um, so it depends on you know what it is that you have going on what's the best thing to keep your feet dry and comfortable and um, for being three to five hours on your feet okay so the other thing is just regular tennis shoes um, I wear and then depending on what the weather is lately we've been getting down into the 50s and because I will work um, at night after dark I also have boots that I wear okay and depending on where you're going to be you may also want to wear your steel toe boots I haven't had a chance to wear mine um, because I'm never in that in that particular area where um, they're really 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 needed so there's going to be forklifts, there's pallets, there's boxes, there's um, other people. So you want to protect your toes, your ankles, your shins, um, and your hands, which Amazon will give you gloves um, to put on your hands. I also suggest putting Neosporin on your hands. I do. Uh, just because I don't want to have hands that look like I don't know what as you can see it protects my nails and um, the skin on my hands um, what else oh this is something that I do just because it's something I do um, I always every single day I get lotioned up I put on lotion, I put on Neosporin, and then uh, last but not least, as my top protective coat, I will use um, um, my Neutrogena um, suntan lotion for my face and my hair, and I will also use uh, Deep Woods Off insect repellent and that's because many times we will have packages that are damaged and they may have I don't know what in them okay and it uh, I've seen gnats I've seen flies so to keep all of that off of me 
I uh, use deep woods off okay so and then the other thing is um, they do provide water and everything like that but if you drive I suggest that you use your own water um, unless it's an emergency situation where you become faint or uh, need water right away you forgot to drink water you forgot to drink Gatorade um, you can't make it out to your car then I would suggest using um, the water that they provide sometimes the water is hot sometimes it's cold you know sometimes the ice machine works sometimes it doesn't we do have a um, a little place in the break room where you can get tea and soda and uh, bottled water and all these things but they tend to be a little bit expensive like example to get one a bottle of tea unsweetened or sweetened just regular tea um, it's two dollars and seventy three cents that's crazy it's way expensive I don't know why they do that because I remember even working at uh, Sam's wholesale club in the break room we had like soda machines and stuff like that and we paid like a quarter whereas most people if you went to a soda water machine you had to pay um, 75 cents or something like that but for employees we pay way 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 less I don't know if it was because it was Sam's um, but as far as Amazon you're not gonna get any kind of discounts they you have to pay really high rates for tea for water for any of those things it is not cost-effective unless it's an absolute emergency for you to uh, drink any beverages there or eat anything there if you want um, chips or I prefer uh, trail mix because you're gonna get protein in there with peanuts and cashews and things like that walnuts which is good for the brain um, dry blueberries great antioxidants you're gonna want to buy that someplace else not at Amazon because if you buy it at Amazon on your break you're gonna pay a lot of money so be smart and protect your feet protect your um, um, you know your nutritional system make sure you get enough water uh, make sure you eat enough protein because it is a workout um, and that's all I have to say once again best shoes to use rotate them out tennis shoes to go with the grasshopper and then as colder nights come along get your get you some good boots okay um, where I got mine from these tennis shoes were a gift Virgil bought these for me years ago and I still use them um, these ones grasshoppers I got from JC Penney's I tried to check Fred Meyer but um, they were a little bit too expensive I saw them there but then I went on to check Sears and JC Penney's and I got them for a pretty good price and then the same way with these I also got at uh, JC Penney all right so if you have any questions leave it in the comments for me or you can text me at 206-619-1631 and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'll be uploading more information regarding working at Amazon at BFI 5 Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye now.